girls, welcome back to Staring at an Iron Block. Today, as I said, we're staring at an iron block. Hang on, one sec. Staring at an iron block is fun. Okay, enough cringe talk. As we're in a box, we're not doing escape the box. We're doing dropper. We're on adventure. We're on peaceful and there's a little exit if not playing. Escape to our world of weird stuff and we can get what because we're doing the drop and not escape and show you our world of weird stuff. So here we have Welcome to the Dropper. Stage one, crisscross. I'm saying just dull tap you and crazy when just flying up these ladders. Yeah, right now we're not online when this video uploads, we will be up online, so I'm stuck with the steep. So what we do, we set up spawn, and then jump oh, down, crisscross. I also put a medium respawn, so it's quicker. So when you die, you know, you're dead. It's actually this one. So yeah, it is pretty easy and basic for all of them. Here's stage two, light the way. Th this one's a bit trickier. But still pretty easy. You can see there's some gold blocks behind us. The first one, Ellie and me, the outside. And I pretty much. And I did this one. So we set our spawn. I know it's a bit old school, but on this, on PS4, we don't. Oh, we can't. Shh, we can't actually get command blocks. So. If you got to get it right. <coughs> you can probably see where I'm going with this. Yeah. See, light the way or glowstone lights. Oh, get it. So yeah, this one, Ellie came up with the idea of using copper and emeralds. I kind of changed the pattern so it matched. So stage three, the, the copper dropper. And sadly, that is about all Ellie did, but... It's okay, I don't mind. It's good anyway. So yeah, I slightly changed the pattern this one, wait, I want to see, can you live on this? Yeah. You can't live on that, so no cheating. Actually, wait, let me show you something. You may think this. Ooh, look, water! Wait, water just kills you, actually, because that's stained glass. Same trick for the... How is it? Same trick for the first one. I'm just... I actually like th this is really easy. Alright, then this is another little finish early. You can push the button and escape. But no, I'm not doing that. Oh, look, more weird things we built. Like Nomi and Julie or something. No, that's not this. I don't know. I heard it from this video. We need to carry on. So stage four, home, back to home. I thought that was home again. I'm sure I put home again. I must have actually destroyed it and then replaced it. Big Steve face. And all these droppers of 50 blocks of dropping, no, 46 blocks of dropping. So this is the home again. <laughs> I feel like I cheated. Basically, it's supposed to look like that's the ground. There's all these trees on this bush. You jump into the, like, you jump into the room of the house, which is pretty basic. Just the house has been flipped, so this is usually the back wall. This is the door, so you're gonna enter. Like, yeah, so you enter. This is supposed to be the back wall. No, the, the roof, oh, I've done the roof wrong. No, I've not. What, what have I done? Oh, this is, this is just the wall where the door, I don't know. So yeah, it's supposed to look like quite natural, like, are you snow here? I don't know why, it looks quite cool. Then there's some landscape, this big old sun, big old bum. And then here we have stage five, my mine. 
I, I really like this one. You can see two blocks of cobblestone. Just a few. Oh, is that my cards I hear? Yeah, that, this is the feature I really like about this one. Not only one, it's really dark and it's a mess to look outside because it's just covered in lava. Oh, we have a lava bed now. This is perfect. And because of this, if you watch the minecarts, Okay, I can't, I can't live like that, but if you watch the minecarts, no, they keep just going through, so to beat this one, ugh, you're gonna not die, number one. I think you have to see it right here, and boom, you fall through the lava, through some signs, and into water with more lava on top. Actually, if you fly into the void in this world, because it's the super flat world, because, the um, oh, um, you can just see some floating lava, and where there's this stone, right next to the lava, that was once bedrock. Yeah, I just broke it. Like, deprived, actually, it was creative. Now I'm going to dementia coptic anything. So yeah, this is stage 6 into the woods. This might look like stage 6. This is the latest one I built. And also, when I'm building this, I was thinking, you know, when you're on stage 6, it's probably been a while since you've seen daylight. So here you go, and there's something Elliot made. Elliot the whole Nice in. On the rest, yeah, you can really tell this is a super flat world now. It kind of looks like, kind of looks like some text. And you see like, all the different, oh, all the different lines. And yeah, he just went back to my mind again. I'm done with that. I'm now going to skippy home through the trees. I'm gonna break all my legs on the trees. What? This is an easy fix. Oh yeah, there is diamond. I don't know why. Did, did I just not say it? The amount of times I've gone into this point of view. Oh, I'm crouching on a ladder. Oh, does that mean I cannot fall off? Ooh. Oh, I'm stuck. So, yeah, if you just set your spawn, I think I just did that as if the bed was there. So, what you do is you have to jump around the trees and not do what I'm just doing. <laughs> You have to get, you have to rub against that tree and break your legs on all the leaves. Um, eh, like a pro. Yeah, this tree's really close to the ground. So yeah, you come out from your mine, you go down here, and then once you've finished coming from all, once you've finished strolling through the woods, break no legs like everybody does when they're walking through the normal wood, you get tonight and oh, was anything nice here right then no it's okay stage seven is darkness no really there was this water stage that's why this is a bit weird because it's like off site it was going to be this water one but it was way too easy you could have cheated and if i was going to build it would have been a lot higher so yeah that's why there's a bit of a gap and i'll show you after but look, you can see there's the last stage. This isn't very big. This is the first time we're calling it done. There will be another video coming soon. Yeah. You can see daylight again. Look. Oh, perp. You get a great view. Yeah, the old dropper used to just be right there between that, the mine. Look, you can see all the minecart tracks. And this one. Anyway, you set off spawn. Probably would did that. Oh. I can't see anything. Right. That did not work. So what I'm going to do is climb just climb up here, then just kill myself without sitting my spawn. Go back to that one and try. Cause I I don't think I actually took any damage, so if I just do Perfect. Just do this. That's better already, if anything. Yeah. Ta da! You just land on the step. It's like, there is tinted glass. It's really hard. And it's, yeah, it's like hard to see, but wait, if you know the layout, like me, because I built it, then it's fairly easy. So, yeah, I'm sure you know this one. This one is quite hard. I wish that took one of Steve's hands, but I have. But... Oh, don't want to go through that again. So, I think we have to do. 
something like I was gonna say like this, but what? I took like no damage. Oh Oh. Right. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have like an auto death point. I'm going to go into creative and build an auto death point for every. No. Default game mode is adventure. My game mode is creative. Oh my god, what am I doing? So yeah, I'm gonna, for every drop, I add an auto death point. So basically, for this nether one, you drop through all these things and like you land in the water. So there, you can see perfect space for another dropper. I built it, then realized. What am I building? So yeah, I've, I've taken it down and. Hopefully, no jump fix this glitch where you just don't take any damage from falling because that ruins that drop map. So, yeah, I'll add like an auto death point, which will be a small bowl of lava at the bottom of every dropper. But, yeah, Elliot, the Hulk, has requested me to show all of the tutorials. So, here we have the Loud House, the two Captain and Panthers houses, George and Harold. Yeah, George and Harold's some thing of my car track. Some modern houses of tutorials you found on YouTube. That's pretty much like all of them for this, so we fixed up the fence. Make it too big. End up fixing it all again. Everything goes wrong. The same for this little modern house Elliot owns here as well. And I like this one, it's quite nice. It's not too big. Not too many big open windows, anything. that's what he likes. But then this is the biggest one. Teen Titans Tower of Parkour. <laughs> Ring the bell and if you fall you die. But that will come in another episode. So I'd be dead right now, by the way. Yeah. It basically is masses of parkour. But... Masses of parkour, blah. so yeah, I work on the droppers, and yeah, this could be coming soon if we get two likes on the video. This old boy of a Teen Titans Tower, you'll be able to see. So, yeah, we built quite a lot of things in this world. Oh, I built a lovely Minecraft house. Here's a dropper map outside, by the way, it's not very really nice, but here's something that is nice. We can have this as a Thumbnail for the video. I'm only joking. This is too nice for a video of ours. This is the perfect, perfect thumbnail for the video. Massive ugly towers in the air. But seriously, I'm 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 using this guy, so yeah. Have fun.